Assalamu alaikum ya Shaykh. Please I would like to know your techniques for memorizing the Quran and most especially your technique for revision of what you had memorized. Jayyid, Jayyid, mashallah. This is a good question. Firstly, wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Or ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give you the sincere passion uh, to memorize the word of Allah Azza wa Jal. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal also to make you of those who memorize the Quran. For indeed, the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna lillahi ahleen min an nas. There are special people selected by Allah Azza wa Jal. And this special people that are selected by Allah are Ahlul Quran. Hum Ahlullah wa khasatu. They are the people of the Quran. For we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us all among them. Uh, memorizing the Quran, uh, الله, is very simple. As Allah Azza wa Jal, he said, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ We made the Quran easy to ponder and to reflect and to memorize and to read. This is a dhikr. فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ Then Allah Azza wa Jal, he asks, is there anyone there that wants to reflect over the Quran, memorize its words, read it, ponder over it, implement it? Now, so we need to answer this call of Allah Azza wa Jal and approach it because it is easy for the one who seeks uh, Allah Azza wa Jal's help. It is easy for the one who seeks Allah's help. And all worships, including memorizing the Quran, becomes easy when you recognize that it can only be possible by Allah's aid and help and support. So that's the first and foremost thing you need to do. Ask in abundance Allah Azza wa Jal to make it easy for you. Say, O oh Allah, make the Quran easy for me. Make its memorization, its recitation, its revision, its implementation, pondering, reflecting, make it all easy upon me. Now, that's the first thing. You ask Allah Azza wa Jal. The second thing is you need to have a strategy. And this strategy will not work until you have absolute commitment. So you must be committed and consistent. You must have commitment, strong determination, and you also must be consistent. Consistency each and every single day. And when I say every single day, you need to now identify what part of the day is easy for you. In the mornings or in the afternoon or at night, before certain prayers, after certain prayers, whatever it is. Don't just sit there and make a commitment and say, inshallah, I'm going to start memorizing tomorrow. Tomorrow when? When? When exactly? And then how much are you going to memorize? These are two things you need to first and foremost find out. What is the best time in which you can memorize? Of course, the mornings after Fajr is always better. I even know from yani, students of knowledge that had memorized the entire Quran an hour before Salat al-Fajr. Every day before Salat al-Fajr, they would wake up and spend that one hour memorizing until they finish the entire Quran. How beautiful is this? To know that you memorize the Quran because you gave it an hour of your time before Salat al-Fajr. An excellent, beautiful time. There is no distraction. Everyone is sleeping. Everyone, they're, they're, no, no, your phone is not uh, calling. Everyone's dead at that time. Everyone's sleeping. There's no worldly distraction. It's the best time. So find a time that works for you. Maybe an hour before sleep works for you. But, yani, subhanallah, a person during a day, when you first wake up, it's like you're a baby in which you are just given birth right now. And at the end of the day, a person becomes like an old man. And the difference is when you're young, your memory and your mind is like a sponge. You memorize quicker. And when a person is old, he suffers from memory loss and so on. So it's not the best age for memorizing. And that's the day. The beginning of the day, you're like a newborn. The end of the day, you're like an old man. So keep your memorization at the very beginning of the day. And that would be better be ithnillahi ta'ala. And then after that, once you've committed to a time, find the right amount that works for you. So it could be an ayah a day, or two ayat a day. Start with something minimal so you can see progress. And your progress will then uh, create that passion and eagerness within you to continue. Because if you start slow, let's say you did one ayah a day for the next seven days, by the end of a week, you've memorized seven ayat. That's almost three quarters of a page. That you'll be happy. You'll be satisfied. You will see that you're able to memorize and that you're progressing. And that will entice you and it will encourage you to continue down that path. But if you began the first day by memorizing one page and you struggled with it and you couldn't recall it the next day, 
you will be turned off and you will not memorize anything at all. So start slowly, start slowly. And that was the advice, yani, in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for example, when he saw the poor people of a sufa that were sitting at the back of the masjid, he said to them, would any one of you like to go to Bapan? And Bapan is a valley in Medina. Any one of you would like to go there right now and pick up uh, two fat, full of meat, camels, min ghayri ithmin wa la qati'ati rahim, without يعني sin, يعني halal, 100%, go to the valley and grab two fat, uh, يعني full of meat camels. And this was like a, a massive commodity. It's a very valuable item at that time among the Arabs. So then they said, Ya Rasulullah, yes, we all love to go out for a simple uh, journey of an hour and come back and have two camels. This is great possession, great value. So then the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to them, if one of you was to go to the masjid and read one ayah, it is better for him than one camel and two ayat better than two camels and three ayat better than three camels. The camel at that time is like a car. So one ayah is better than one car and two ayat better than two cars. For the idea of the hadith is look, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he brought their attention to one, two, three ayat, something minimal. So start your memorization like this. A lot of people haven't memorized the Quran yet because they haven't started with one ayah a day. All it is one ayah a day, that's it. And bi'idhnillah, bi'idhnillah, once you do one ayah a day, then inshallah, after a month, two months, three months of an ayah a day, you will find your mind naturally has expanded. You will find it easier to memorize. That's when you'll start two ayat, three ayat, four ayat a day, according to what Allah Azza wa Jal gives you of strength and ability in memorizing. But this is the technique, Wallahu alam. Start with something minimal, and then bi'ithnillah, the passion and the strength of memorizing will come bi'ithnillah ta'ala, by Allah Azza wa Jal, the Most High. Naam. Allahu Alam. And we'll leave the topic of revising for a later time. Naam.